Hello everyone. Welcome to SolidWorks Weldman tutorial. In this tutorial I am going to be modeling this chair frame using Weldman tools. I will use this 3D wireframe sketch. Watch my other video to see how this is created. Click on Weldman command manager. If this Weldman command manager is not uh, visible, right click on any tab and turn it on. You can turn it on and off. Under Weldman command manager, select structural member. Structural member property manager is launched. Structural member is the basic building block of any Weldman parts. We can add any Weltman members using structural member command. There are three drop down list. The first one is to select the standard and the second one is to select the type of the profile and the last one is to select the size of the profile. I will select ISO standard and profile type square hollow section select square tube and profile size 20 by 20 by 2 millimeter I will use Weltman uh, profile database profile and we can create our own profile as well with the same folder structure watch my other video to see how to create custom Weltman profiles and now we have set up all the create make all the selections <coughs> next the groups look at there is a box called groups we have to add the path segment to the group when you click on the sketch you can see group one is created and also there are a set of other options from this box you can rotate the profile as required and also you can locate relocate the profile by changing the ps point using this locate profile command and also we cannot add all the path segment sketch segment to one single group there are two main categories we can add parallel path segment to the same group or we can add contiguous part segment to the same group and under group 1 I will select this front two legs those are parallel to each other and for the next group I am going to add this rear two legs and the back frame those are contiguous lines you can create new groups by clicking new group and now add all these contiguous lines when you are in group 2 you can see some extra checkbox created the first one is merge arc segment bodies when you check on this one these three pieces are merged together and create one single bit for the cutting list if you uncheck it there would be three separate parts usually we need to have one single piece so check keep it checked and the other one is apply corner treatment so we can change this corner treatment as required we keep this end miter and you cannot see these two check boxes when you are in group one it is because it is not necessary and now we have created two groups we will create another group and add these four contiguous line segments and repeat the same thing for the other four lines as well create new group select all these four lines 
we are almost done there is one segment is remaining i will add another new group and select this line click on this push pin to keep this property manager visible and click enter now you can see the property is the framework is already created but now we have a look at this joint when you zoom in this joint you can see it is not aligned properly so exit the command and click on this go to edit and now we have to relocate the profile of this horizontal member you can use locate profile command to do that select that group when you when you click on each group the members are highlighted in the graphic area so go to group 4 to highlight these horizontal members now click on locate profile command it zooms in the profile so that we can easily select the PS point when you hover your mouse over the sketch the PS points are highlighted select select this point as the PS point when we apply this locate profile to a member all the members in the in that particular groups are changed accordingly now you can see all these four members are flushed with the leg now zoom into this place you can see this cross member is not aligned with the backrest correctly this need to be rotated by 18.43 degrees so we can use this box to enter the value to rotate this member first select that groups select the groups for this member that is group number 5 you can see it is highlighted if you want to unselect a particular line segment you can click on it again and it is unselected but we have to select it again now scroll down and enter the value 18.43 and press enter here we go you have it the member is flush aligned with the backrest and click OK press ctrl 7 and uh, click on this hide all types to hide planes and sketches framework is completed that's it for today in my next tutorial I am going to add necessary gusset plates and other tabs to fit cushions. Until then bye everyone. Please like the video. If you have got any requests add them to comment field. Subscribe the channel to get new videos. Thank you for watching.